Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As the title of this video suggests, uh, today we will discuss how to study microbiology in medical school. Now microbiology is considered as one of the most difficult courses in medical school because of the amount of memorization that you have to do. It is a very memory based course, therefore either you have a really good memory or you use resources that help you to build a good memory. Um, to help you study microbiology. The, the thing uh, that the video is structured as that first we will be discussing the textbooks that I recommend. The second thing we'll be doing is uh, I will recommend you the online resources that I use and in the last I will be discussing my own notes. So let's start with the textbook. The textbook is something that your university would recommend, that your professor would recommend. My university, my medical school recommended us uh, the Langman uh, Medical Microbiology and Immunology, the Levinson, not the Langman, sorry, the Levinson one. Uh, I did read this textbook completely, like cover to cover, and that is because uh, my university exams, my college exams are very heavily based on textbooks. So I cannot just ignore my textbooks. Uh, the general section, the general the, uh, the general basic bacteriology, basic virology section in this book are really good. I think they explain stuff very well and they are good to sort of, uh, you know, build the what, what do we say? Build the basics. They're good for the basics. But the clinical sections, I'm not a huge fan. I read them, but they were not my primary resource. So I read them because it was required for us to do these uh, so that we can pass the exams. But I did not think that the book really helped. I don't think it's, it's a very good book when it comes to clinical bacteriology and clinical virology. It's not a bad book. If, you're, if you think that you really need a textbook, then you can go ahead and use it because I used it. And um, it has charts, it has figures to help you. Um, and yeah, you can, you can use it if you want, but again, it's a very heavily memorization-based course, and this really does not help in the memorizing part. It kind of tells you the facts, but it doesn't really help in the memorization part. So there's that. The thing, um, the, so I told you about how it does not really help in the memorization section. This other textbook, kind of like a textbook, the clinical microbiology made ridiculously simple, uh, solves this problem, the problem that Levinson has, is that it has a lot of figures and funny mnemonics and like funny figures like this to help you remember stuff. So it has a lot of pictures and mnemonics to help you remember this the, the stuff. So this book is a better tool to help you in memorization as compared to the Levinson one, which really does not help in the memorization section of microbio, which is the most important section. So if I had to choose between uh, both of them, I would choose this book. I got this uh, a very late in, in my course, so I could not use it, but I did recommend it to my juniors who used the entire book and they were really really happy with the results so I definitely recommend it like, like as you can see that um, you'll remember these pictures way more easily than you will remember the text right so these are the two books uh, the other one is the Kaplan uh, immunology and microbiology I have my concerns about this book I did not think that Kaplan is doing a good job in micro in the section of microbiology even the videos were very very what, what do I say were not really good I don't recommend Kaplan microbio videos to anyone but it has uh, questions in the end so after every chapter I think or in the end I guess I, I'm not really sure I think after every chapter we have a quiz and you can use those quizzes to test yourself and that that should help you in remembering the things uh, that you are forgetting or, you know, having a general idea about how you're doing uh, in the course. So I recommend it as a question book, but not really as your primary resource. Um, this is a good textbook, but I don't really recommend it. I did not really enjoy it because it does not really help in the memorization section. This, on the other hand, is really, really helpful uh, in the memorization uh, part of microbiome. Okay, so the online resource that I recommend is, I don't even think uh, that I have to tell you this, Sketchy Microbiology is the prime resource of uh, medical, of microbiology in medical school. Like, 
if you go to medical school you know that everybody will recommend a sketchy micro sketchy in a sketchy micro what happens is that they um, draw out cartoons and you know uh, pic they pictorially represent every bug by creating a scenario and then you just remember that scenario and you just remember that picture and you can memorize the entire bug and I used sketchy micro heavily like for every single bug in the entire course and sketchy micro was the primary resource that I use but I, I understand the sketchy micro can be expensive and I understand that a lot of people cannot afford sketchy micro so for those people you can you know use the textbook but if you can afford a sketchy micro if you can pay the price then please uh, buy it because it is worth every single penny it's so good I really 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 like sketchy micro now let's talk about my own notes a bit and then we can you know finish this video up uh, let me just grab them real quick okay so the one thing that I did that really really helped me memorizing bugs is that classify 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 so don't just start you know don't just take one buck and start studying about it always make sure that you have classified bugs before so we are going to take example in bacteriology and then we'll uh, you know we'll discuss the bacteriology section and I hope it you know this makes sense to you so I will never start studying um, Clostridium uh, botulinum you know directly I would never just start open a video of Clostridium botulinum and start studying that does not really help me memorize it what did help me in the memorization section was always classifying everything first and then targeting one bug at a time as my classification goes so that I can compartmentalize the information in my brain and I can easily pick out the things uh, when the exam comes so if I have gram positive rods I will be dividing them into spore forming and the non spores forming and in that spore forming I will divide into other two categories and then further those categories further those bugs that are in those categories and as you can see there is this entire classification so after that I will move on from spore forming I will first discuss the bacillus anthracis and then bacillus seria so I know that right now I'm talking about spore forming gram positive rods so I can make connections like so I won't just start studying bacillus anthracis without you know having an entire picture of what gram positive rods look like so uh, I heard somewhere that classify or die so basically classifying really really helps you hammer down the information and then I used to make my own notes from sketchy micro because it really helped me in revising when I was you know commuting from university and back home I used to see these notes and you know active recall the information really helped me so as you can see and then I have all the details about these bugs but what I was trying to show you is that the classification part is at least very important to me and without these classific without classifying these uh, bugs I don't think I would have been able to study micro so classify make sure you're classifying your bugs and when you're classifying your bugs everything would so sort of come uh, easily to you not perfectly easy but sort of easily and then of course after you solve questions whatever you get wrong you should write them down on a separate piece of paper and then review it a day before your exam so you don't make the same mistakes that you did when you were taking the practice questions so these are all the things that I have to tell you about microbiology this is how at least I studied microbiology my primary resource was sketchy micro I used this Levinson textbook because my exams are heavily based on the text and then I made these notes but I also at the same time recommend doing question from Kaplan book and using this book for you know mnemonics and pictures if you can't really afford sketchy micro then this is the second the second best resource of a sketchy micro uh, that's all I have to say I hope this video was helpful and if it was then please like comment share and subscribe the next one would be probably on uh, I haven't decided yet but see you next time